Welcome back to the YouTube channel guys. Today we're going to be installing an AEM Electronics oil pressure gauge into our Miata. Overall, our installation is going to be pretty easy because I have the oil filter relocated up here. No! God, please, no! 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 No fucking way did that just happen! Alright, so now we put our fitting in. Tighten her up. Sensor itself that comes with the gauge is 150 psi max, which for most people is going to be about everything you can imagine. And now we're going to route our wire through our existing plug, which just so happens to be real close and usable. I already have something going through there, which would be my oil temperature sensor. What you have is a white plug, which goes to the back of the gauge. Then you have sensor plug, which obviously I've already connected to the sensor, and then you have stray wires. Some of these go to power and ground, some of these have the ability to hook up to uh, AM net or to an analog sensor that you could log. As you can see here where I opted to shove it through, you're able to just grab it off the floor and then we're going to run it up under the dash to the gauge, which we're gonna put right next to our other AM gauge. So basically I'm gonna take off this center console so I can have access under the tombstone. So you can see, <clears throat> all I did was take the little plastic piece, cut a little bit off of one end, and now it has a pressure mount that you can tighten in here, and it's nice and tensioned, ain't gonna fall out, and yet this, at the same time, is completely reversible. So our tombstone doesn't fall out. Look all ghetto like some of the people around here. my stereo which I don't plan on using anymore. So now all we gotta do is find power and ground so that our gauge can work. I would hook it into the same power and ground as this gauge but let me tell you when I did that originally it sucked. I don't want to do that again so I'm gonna pick a different power and ground. So what I'm gonna do is steal oh, that's constant power we don't want that. So they're switched 12 volt power. I have found over all my times of doing janky car wiring stuff that it's great to have a plethora of different tools to allow you to get into weird places like this. You always do a little tug test because the last thing you want to do is get all done and think you're, everything's all good and then you tug on tug on it or move it or do whatever because you're done and it just falls apart. So now we have off the gauge is a red, a black, black, and a brown. The black, uh, the red and the black are what we're going to use now, but in the future I have high hopes of being unlazy and hooking up these which will go to my AQ1. For the interim, just to get this thing running. You just want to make sure you don't crimp the insulation or do anything like that. Um, also make sure that when you do that, you know, 
you can cut your wires a little shorter so you don't have a bunch of excess wiring that you have to figure out what to do with. So now we have our new oil pressure gauge installed right next to our oil temperature gauge all made by AM Electronics. They look nice. They actually fit really nice in the dash. It's super easy to kind of inset them into where the old AC vents were. Well, this wasn't AC, but the old vents were. Um, and now we're just able to get a little bit more data out of the car just to make sure we don't hurt it. I know this car comes with a stock pressure gauge, but it is interesting to see the difference in actuals with this pressure sensor versus that one. Plus, the whole goal here is to integrate these gauges in with the AQ1 data acquisition system in the back, which then I can look over and keep tabs on the engine. All right, let's see how she works. Well, it turns on, that's a good start. There she is. She's getting pressure. Okay guys, that's a wrap on our AEM Electronics oil pressure gauge installation. Now we have oil pressure and oil temperature, and hopefully soon we'll have that bait put into our data acquisition system, which then I can show you how to use the data acquisition system.